So I got a formulation for you today. This is a really good one. This is a simple body glaze, body lotion, whatever you want to call it. This is something that you could make really simple, bring to market. You can start selling now. We're going to be using a base for this one. Not every recipe we do will use a base, but this one right here is an amazing five gallon formulation using a base for a tropical rainbow or we're going to call this one the Great Margarita Body Glaze. All right, that's what we're going to go with. That's what we're rolling. First thing we're going to do is head over to EssentialLabs.com. We're going to grab their basic ultra-thick cream base. This is going to be pretty much the base that we're using. It's an ultra-thick cream base, highly moisturizing, providing deep hydration to the skin. So it's really ideal for luxury bodies glazes. It's a rich, creamy, and it spreads really easy. So this is going to be the good one. Next, while this base is preserved, we're going to be adding some more stuff to it. Never hurts. So we're going to go ahead and add four ounces of Optifin Plus. Now, you can pick this up from Boca Apothecary, Amazon, Lotion Crafters, Making Cosmetics. We're grabbing this one from Nature's Garden because we're going to be grabbing a whole lot of stuff from them in the next few minutes. Next, let's go ahead and head over to Mad Micas. We're going to pick up the Great Knee High Purple Mica. We're going to need only about two ounces of this. This is what we're going to add to our color to get the purple color. So it's a really vibrant purple, really appealing, creates an experience for our customers. Now, shoot on over to Nature's Garden. We're going to pick up about 20 ounces of the Great Pappy Camper Fragrance Oil. So this is going to be the grape fragrance. This is going to go along with the um, purple mica pigment powder. And this is a really sweet candy grape. Um, think of like a, a, a tart purple candy grape. That's what you have. Maybe a little fizzy f smell to it or effect. It's hard to explain how it smells. But that is going to be what we're picking up. Now back to Mad Micas. We're going to go ahead and pick up our Luna Mica. This one has a really pretty shimmering color. This is going to be more of a mid color to the grape and the other color we're going with it's going to tie it together so really pearlescent shimmery color it's gorgeous this is going to be perfect for this and we're all going to add about two ounces of this to the lotion base now back to nature's garden we're picking up the raspberry raspberry lemonade fragrance this is a very tart it does not necessarily smell like lemonade but it is going to bring that tart sweet tangy flavor over to that grape that way it's just not sweet sweet um this is a perfect blending color fragrance i mean between this fragrance and our next fragrance so this is going to be really good um definitely one that this is one of my favorite scents that they have i'm not even gonna lie so it's going to add that zest that we need um a really pleasant fragrance now mad mike as we're picking up two ounces of tahitian till mica this is going to be that vibrant green color that's going to tie it all together provide a really nice rainbow effect to it and we're going to pick up two ounces of this Nature's Garden for our last fragrance. That is going to be the Frozen Margarita Fragrance Oil. Provides a really crisp, citrusy margarita scent. Um, Yo, know, when blended with these two, I've, I've tried this. It's a really amazing blend of fragrances. So we're going to add 20 ounces of that to this. Um, And it's just going to tie our three fragrances together. Packaging options. I always get requests. I would put it in this clear bottle from... Um, Berlin packaging. This is an eight ounce clear bottle. We're going to get the lotion pump cap. I have all of these links in the um, free formulation guide I'm about to send you guys. So this is the bottle that we're going to go with. Making this is rather simple. It shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes to make it. What you're going to do is go ahead and add your preservative to the overall batch of the basic cream. Whip that all up. We're going to then divide that basic cream into three equal portions. Now, one, you're going to add your fragrance of your grape, and you're going to add the um, purple mica powder. The second one, you're going to do the raspberry lemonade and the luna mica powder. The third one, the Tahitian teal with the frozen margarita. Mix those all up. Now, here's my suggestion, and here's what I highly recommend. Don't just go with pouring all your fragrance oil in. Add it in slowly, mix it up, test it to get to the level that you want, adding no more than 3% of the total back size for this, all right? Just start slow, work your way up, it will be perfect. Now, once you do it, I want you to add all three colors to the hopper, add them in separate sections. Imagine your, your bottle filler or your hopper that you could pick up from Amazon or eBay has three sections, add it in those. That way, when you pump it, it's gonna come out in your bottle in different layers and with that real pretty swirl effect that we want to create that experience for our customers.